As our time gets closer for us to phase out our SD72 Google Drive accounts, um, here's a quick video to let you know how you can either transfer to another Google account or to zip it so that you can drag and drop your files over to your OneDrive account. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up a Chrome browser with uh, your at sd72.net account. Once that's there, click on your apps to open up your Google Drive. We're doing this first so that if you have any files that have been shared with me under the shared with me location, what you have to do is you actually have to transfer those. You have to make a copy of those over to your own OneDrive first. You can't move them there. You have to right click and then you actually have to say make a copy. Now once you make a copy in your own OneDrive, it'll the file itself will actually say copy of. So if you click over to your My Drive account, you'll see the copies of the files that you have actually created. Once you've gone through and made a copy for all of them, open up another browser window. And over on the far right, where you are actually logged in, click on your icon and click on the Google account button. This opens up all the different information about you. And even though we are talking about transferring your content, for this particular one, we want to create a zip file. So we don't want to transfer. We want to download our information to create a zip file so that we can upload it into our OneDrive folder. So again, we don't want to transfer account. We want to scroll all the way down where it says download or delete your data. So what we're doing is we're making a copy of our data so that we can copy it into our OneDrive folder. Next, you'll get a list of all the different possibilities in Google itself that you could transfer. I would say deselect all and then just click on the items that you actually want to transfer. So in Chrome, you're going to have your bookmarks. However, your bookmarks will just be a list. So if you want to transfer it to a different account, I would actually um, do a transfer instead of a copy. In your Drive account, you definitely want to download all your files. And here, what this option does is it allows you to determine what Google documents can be converted into so that they are 100% readable by Microsoft. So I personally don't include any historical versions because then you'll have multiple copies and keep this one checked and then just click OK. Scroll all the way down to the very bottom of the list right here. Um, I don't think there's anything else here. Maybe your mail, but again, if you want your mail, I would transfer rather than um, making a copy. And any other Google specific stuff, I would transfer rather than making a copy. So scroll all the way down and then click on next step. What this is going to determine is this is going to determine whether or not you want it download it as an email. Now because we are downloading an actual zip file, this is what we want. I know it might be a little bit deceiving to select our OneDrive, but this is not our OneDrive for business. So this will not give you the capability to do right directly to our school. Do a one-time archive, keep it as a zip file, and I would increase it maybe, you know, 10 gigabytes depending, and then create an archive. Now depending on how big your Google Drive folder is, that will be dependent on how long it takes to create an, ar an archive. So here it says it could take up to um, days, if not hours. Mine took minutes to do um, and I was able to access it again right away from here. However, what might happen is you might um, get an email in your email itself. So again, if you need to exit out of this window and go to your email account itself, and then what it does is it provides you with a link that basically redirects you to the same window, which then allows you to download that zip file. So we just go here, 
click on download archive it'll bring you back to that window click on the download folder or download button and what it does is it'll show up down below in your left um, screen or wherever your download folder is directed to open up that folder double click on it to expand it because it isn't a zip file and then all your files within that folder will be extracted so that you can see them. The drive folder, most of them will be documents. Um, this zip file on the very bottom right here, what that is, is that's a form that I've created and you can see um, how it's broken it up. So forms actually don't transfer very well. The responses from the forms do, but the um, interactive forms themselves don't. For the Google Chrome with your bookmarks, what it basically does is it just brings it up as a list. So it will um, give you a list of all your bookmarks and if you actually wanted that transferred into another Google Chrome account through that takeout process, you would select transfer instead of download. Now all you have to do is drag and drop them into your OneDrive folders where they belong and you're good to go. Again, if you have very specific Google documentation, such as Forms, Classroom, um, Google Chrome preferences, you could use this exact same process and transfer it to another Google account.